Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Microsoft Flight Simulator. You join me today aboard the beautiful Flight Sim Studio Embraer ERJ-175 getting ready to load up a very short flight today from Sioux City, Iowa over to Sioux Falls, Iowa. Now why are we taking that location I hear you ask? Well, there's this, oh, okay, oh god, she's cutting through all the, just go over here, just go over here, just go in the back. Anyway, let's go inside the airplane. If I cut over to our uh, web.gov map here, here's the map of the United States, and as you can see, there's uh, there's uh, there's some poo poo weather. So we've got, uh, where is Cedar Rapids? It's on the eastern, here we are. So we're going to Sioux City, and then up to Sioux Falls. We're barely skirting the ice storm. Thank you. Thank you, FS, LTL, or whatever you are, GSX. Appreciate you. So we're going from here to here. That's not a very bad storm. Don't worry. Don't worry. Next up, we're going to go from somewhere just outside of, uh, I think, Chicago. Or maybe we'll... Actually, we'll do Peoria Regional or International over to Detroit. With a slightly longer haul, really hitting the thick of the storm. Um, but if I switch back to flights in here, you can see the absolute thickness of the clouds that we're going to be heading into. This is looking um, sort of south, southeast, I believe. Um, and you can see it's just a relatively kind of overcast day, but if you turn around here, black death. Just just straight black death. And that is where we're going. So uh, we're going to finish letting the passengers board up here, get their bags on board. I've already got the FMS programmed, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting out of here shortly. While we're loading up here, I do want to point out the uh, state of the weather. Um, it's very, very windy. That's why I chose uh, the Iowa locations first, is the wind. And you can see we've got a nice, healthy layer of uh, icing accumulating on the wings, both uh, upside and dribbling down through the bottoms, and you'll see it on the windscreen once we get in. So this will give us a chance to look at GSX's uh, de-icing treatment for the aircraft, which will be fun to see. Actually, I don't think we've uh, done it on the channel yet. Uh, but there's icing just all over this airplane. I'm guessing those two United Express CRGs are grounded. Not in sample air. Not on sample air. So yeah, it looks like the windshield's clear from the outside, but if I go back inside... Oh no, the icing is melted. I must have turned on windshield heat. Well, good. It's mostly melted, which is fantastic. But anyway, a little bit of time left to board up passengers, and then we will be underway here. All right, we are getting set to push back here. We've got uh, de-ice VIX on the way. So we will just hold tight. I do have the beacon on and we'll turn on the wing lights for them as well. Just so they can kind of get a better idea of uh, where stuff is. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference for them, but uh, never hurt. So. All right, de-icing trucks pulling in now. I might have to do some live on the fly uh, mixing because I remember the DI trucks being obnoxiously loud. Like, hilariously loud. So, bear with me for a second or two if that's the case. Boy, those beacons look good, don't they? Look at those beacons. Anyway, here are the DI trucks. Let's see if they do with a no clip through the horizontal stab like they do on uh, the CRG and a few other airplanes. This is a default. I didn't custom set these up or anything, so, uh... Confirm aircraft is ready for treatment. Yes, we're ready. Let's do... Ooh, we're flying into pretty heavy ice. Let's do Type 3. Um, let's do 75%. Glycol. Call. Fluid type 3. Concentration at 75%. I will call you back when ready. Will do. So they're gonna go ahead and raise up, extend out and spray down the uh, top surfaces of the wing. Would be kind of cool if they weren't uh, so synchronous, but whatever. Yep, it's loud. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Where's my mouse? Oh. Okay. Alright, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Alright, de-icing is in progress. Nice little neat animation. There's also a uh, light that casts if it's uh, nighttime that you can see. 
Actually, yeah, you can see it there going over the elevator. Very cool. It's just so loud. It's just so loud. Let's... Okay, one's done. Two's finished. We'll bring the volume back. So we're not deaf anymore now. Now, I've been around trucks when they're de-icing. It's not quiet, but it is not that loud. Sorry. Had a mild coughing fit there. Alright, so they're disconnecting. Uh, because we're in bad ice conditions, or known icing conditions, we're going to stave off engine start until we finish our pushback. We should have our marshaller walk in here in a second and go, hello, Captain. And then uh, we'll be set to push back. Oh, no, we got to do this time. There he is. Look how it switches back and forth. Can I see you? No, they always... Hello, Captain. We're they, ready for they always stand right here. I don't understand. Anyway. He's going to run out in front. Throw the uh, disconnect for the nose wheel steering in. Thug will come in. I guess we don't really do many uh, GSX videos where I sit down and uh, watch the... We'll, we'll watch this. No, we won't. I'll be back when we're ready to push. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. As we're pushing back engines off, I will say the one uh, aspect about de-icing in the gate is you don't really see that anymore. Most uh, airports of any size, really, I was going to say sizable, but most airports nowadays actually have a designated de-ice area, and you'll taxi over to that area because that lets them recover all of that ethylene glycol um, it's an EPA thing primarily. Before, yeah, they used to just slather it on the wings uh, in bad weather. And then in good weather, you would uh, just dump your 100 low lead in the grass. Because that's that's just what you did. You'd see little burned out patches of, of grass on the ground. But it's not what we do anymore. We live in a more economic, or economically, what's the word? Ecologically conscious? I guess. Ecosystem? I don't know. We'll finish the pushback, get started up, and uh, I'll check back in once we are ready to taxi. All right, our startup is complete. Let's go ahead and configure for takeoff. We're going to go flaps two. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, lock our cockpit door. There we go. Said so their cockpit door probably should have been locked beforehand. And that should be it. Do a quick uh, sweep of the controls. If they're free and correct. Alright, park break off. Taxi light on. Let's throttle out here. And we're taking our front away 1 8 today. So hopefully not too long. It actually won't be that long of a taxi. Add a little power. I do love the change in sound from the cabin to the cockpit. It's very nice in this airplane. All right. Tailwind takeoff ready. Let's go. Landing lights on. Strobe lights on. Wind lights are on. Taxi lights off. These should have already been on. All three of them, actually. If seat belts, no smoking, and sterile cockpit happens as soon as you leave the gate. That's all right. Loving that LED flash on the longer winglets. Leave the APU going for now. No HUD to fiddle with. Very nice snow covered runway. A little bit of a wide turnout. There's something center, center of the airport. It really doesn't like running. That's all right. We'll get clear of that momentarily as we accelerate. 
All right, let's go fly. Airspeed is alive. What are you fighting that cross with a little bit of uh, rudder? A little choppy, but there's 80 knots. Gonna be a close one. There's V1. Continuing. Rotate. We are airborne. Let's establish that positive rate of climb. Mr. Embraer. Gear coming up. Boy, those gear motors are loud, aren't they? Flaps up to one. Relax the rudder just a little bit. And now hold, please. And where is my flight level change? Because you just really want to slam into the ground right now. There you go, buddy. Oh, great. My red engine flamed. Red engine is out. Something a restart. Shut up. Shut up. I gotta maintain that left end or the left engine at the uh Eper it's at. I'm hoping I can get a restart on N2. Shut up. I swear I'm not planning these. I know the last video was the uh four one four where we had the hydraulic issue. Should probably make a call to the cabin. Nah, they're fine. Uh, we're really, really on that threshold of stalling. We're a flap set. They're three right now. Two. Wanna keep the gear in, keep our profile as clean as we can. Engine two does not want to restart. Let's do a cycle. Okay, N2 is increasing. Keep looking for the field here. Got the worst weather for this stuff, too. Hydraulic pressure is low. Looks like engine 2 is starting to spool. ITT is coming up. I've lost the field completely. It's behind us somewhere at this point. Uh, I really should be favoring a right-hand turn. Okay, it looks like engine two has... Why is my... Why is my stick not working? My, my inputs don't work. 